Hi, this is Chris from D2 Bot Spot. Um, I run the site and I also run the clan. Today, I want to show everybody how to easily set up a uh, Magic Find bot and you can customize whatever runs you want to do. And this is for a Hammered In, but you can do this for just about any character class. The bot works for a lot of things. This is called the Gamers Vault eTal bot and it's a heavily modded D2NT 3.1 bot. Uh, it's the shit. It has everything already pre-configured for you. Um, I've got a download on the website, so you just go to d2botspot.com. Hit that up. Then you're going to have to be a member, so you're going to have to sign up. Be a member, click the downloads link. Uh, navigate through to the bot section, and then click this little download get link. Save it. I've already got it saved to my computer. Um, it's a RAR archive. So if you don't have WinRAR already, go to rarlabs.com to install WinRAR, and uh, that will allow you to extract this file. And all right, what you do is, is then you open the file up, and you'll get a folder. Select the folder and press Control C to copy it. Find a good place on your computer, um, whatever you want to put this folder, desktop, and then uh, press Control V to paste it. And it should paste the folder over. If for any reason it doesn't work, just go back to the RAR archive and just drag it over. Anyways, I've already got this done right here, so I'm going to close this out. Now, what you need to do is, is we need to start configuring your character config. It's the most important thing to get started with. Um, so you find your paladin, and then you want to rename it to your character name that you want to run the bot on and it's case sensitive so in my case it's weary mako okay save that alright now as soon as you get in here the first few lines are redemption um, if you don't use redemption just comment them out by using double slash which I'll show you right here um, on this noob check right here you have to comment this out it'll screw up your bot slash slash which is how you comment things out that you don't want to run alright now there's other important things here this is the leech configuration so I'll show you how to use later um, these are all of your bosses all the way through all your five acts so um, let's just say I want to do Andy runs which is not going to be it it, it, I'll be running that too fast, but it's just for an example. You need to run a few more bosses and take up some more time, about three minutes. So anyways, if you're running Diablo or Bale, there's going to be some pre-configured settings that you need to go through. Right here is some Diablo settings. There's pre-configured messages you should change. Um, Act 5, public Bale settings, pre-configured messages you should also change. Okay, you don't need to worry about any of that other stuff. Now, you can go through the chicken settings. They're okay in the default, but you can't get the nitty-gritty with them. Okay. This part's kind of annoying. What you have to do is, is you have to put a 1 in all the spots that you have open in your inventory. So basically, it's all set to where you're not going to stash anything. You can't pick up any items because it it's saying there's no space so you just use the zeros to specify items that you already have in your inventory that you wish to keep such as your torches and charms um, so let's say I have let's just say I have one torch and an nihilus so you just put you, you leave the zeros there for these for these three because this is where they would be and then you'd have to put ones everywhere else Let's take all the other zeros and turn them into ones. And the one means it'll pick an item up and attempt to put it there and stash it there while it's running the bot. But yada yada yada, you gotta turn all those zeros into ones where you don't want to have where you don't have your charms. Next thing is you go down to your potions. Um if your bot's good, you can run all rejuvenation potions. If your bot it's fair in the middle and what I do is I do HP, MP, and then two rejuvenations and that should cut it. Um, Alright, these are your picket configurations and this depicts 
uh, the, the class of items that you want to get. Basically, it's n- not not the class in Diablo, but it's just what people have thought, I guess, the normal, which will pick up a lot of items all the way up to Master, you know, which will pick up less items, but they're obviously better. Um, so if you have a good bot and you want to run it for a long time without having to mule your items, uh, you, you run the master because it's going to pick up and it's going to wait for better items and only save the good ones. That's what I run. Um, m- most people will customize their own picket. I haven't spent my own time to do it yet. Also, if you're doing public runs on the bail or chaos, you may want to consider using the fast picket. In which case you want to comment all of these ones out and then uncomment this one right here. The fast picket. Okay, and you don't want to mess with any of this cubing configuration here. Scroll down. Uh, the gambling configuration you can mess around with if you want to change the amount of gold. But here's some more important settings. Public mode needs to be set to true. Uh, what that'll do is that'll allow you to automatically party up with other members that come into your game. Check clone, clone Diablo and remain that untrue. Fast pick it. Um, if you enable that up there, you also need to enable it here. Uh, mercenary self-explanatory if you have enigma enable that untrue um, the rest of this should be good for you and that's your character configuration so I'm gonna put this back to zeros in one second Now we go back, and there are a few more settings you can change in the NT bot. Um, join chat after game, yes, true, and then it's clan D2BS. You can change that whatever you want, and then here's messages after you get into the channel. Um, pretty basic. If you just read the comments here, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to set up. This will spam in the channel what the next run's going to be. Here's all your delays. If you guys need any help with this, just uh, get a hold of me. Send a message on the forums on the on the support board. Anyways, so run your manager. Now add your profile. You can name this whatever you want, but what's we'll called weary. Now, um, if you install Diablo legit on your computer, the auto detection button should work for you. But um, I just copy the files over because this is a new install. So you find your Diablo folder, then click your game. Boom. Now I put mine on window mode, no sound, low quality, all of these options basically. Now here's where you can specify your CD key MPQ files. Um, I'll go into this a little bit more in a different video, uh, but for this one, I'm just going to use my default one.mpq file. This right here will um, tell you how many runs you can do uh, um, per CD key. So if you do more than one CD key, for example, you would put a semicolon and then another MPQ file, whatever the name may be, void2.mpq, and then 10. So after every 10 runs, it's going to rotate a CD key. Select your server, um, your character position, mine's 1, hell, make sure you're running the NT bot. Yep. Put your account name. Now your game name, if you just want to do private games, just leave them on random. But if you want to leave your games public for bail and chaos games, let's say I wanted to make this a public bail game. That will be the the game name and then it'll add the run number to the end of it and it'll also add the dash for you. So you push OK, save it give it a run, type in your password see what happens yep it's I didn't change the command so it's just sitting at this bullshit making the game All 
All right, and so if you configured everything correctly, um, you should be running. You, you should be running good. And uh, this is right out of the box. I just down, downloaded it right from the website. Anybody can do this. If you have any questions, leave a question on the forum. Thank you.